If you don't have one already, I highly recommend that you get a My NCBI account. I have only recently discovered how many cool things you can do with it. In addition to saving PubMed searches, you can also use the My Bibliography tool to create a list of like all of your presentations and publications and integrate that with this tool called CyNV, which allows you to like make easily formatted bio sketches, which are these like weird formatted site like CB type things that you use when you are applying for some sort of NIH or NSF grant. Let me step back a minute though. So NCBI, that stands for the National Center for Biotechnology Information. Big old scary word. Basically it is a branch of like the NIH that, hand, that hosts or National Institutes of Health, so this is the United States, um, but anybody can set up one of these My NCBI accounts and use the free resources that um, NCBI provides and these include things like PubMed, BLAST, so you might have used BLAST to check like nucleotide sequences and that sort of thing, um, design primers, all these different tools. Um, so those are through the NCBI. You can get a My NCBI account um, and this allows you to basically you have a profile, you have a dashboard. On the dashboard you can find a variety of different tools. Um, you can do things like set filters and alerts and collections and all sorts of things for PubMed. You can also do a bunch of other stuff that will come in really handy when you are trying to like apply for a grant or that sort of thing. And so even if you're not even thinking about applying for a grant yet, you can still get a My NCBI account to get all the benefits of having the PubMed searches and that sort of thing, which is how I originally got a My NCBI account. But then when it came to applying for a grant, I kind of stumbled across the fact that you can use the site um, NV in order to generate your bio sketch. And so I like, I remember thinking like the first time I heard bio sketch, I was like thinking it was some sort of like picture, like, I don't know, something really cool. But it turns out it's bibliograph or bio bibliographical sketch or something. Um, basically, it is just like a CV, but it's tailored for a specific grant that you're applying for, a specific like grant project report or something like a fellowship or whatever. So it's like the NSF, the um, NIH, there's a couple ones, but they have different formats. And in this CyNV tool, which you can find in the bottom right corner of um, your My NCBI dashboard, they have different templates that you can use. Um, and so you can select the right template for your thing and if they change the formatting you can always you can like update it um, based on like copying the information in and making sure it's all formatted for the right format so if you made a bio, bio sketch like in the past they previous they like recently changed the formatting updates and everything so make sure you're good to go so I'm not going to try to go into all of the details about all of the cool things you can do and how you can do them I'm just going to share some links um, to some really great resources some guides that take you step by step through all the thing um, some really helpful videos um, both for the just getting you introduced to my NCBI as well as making those um, science EV um, and then the like official links to the information about making those sort of things, um, the NCBI um, guidance, all of that various stuff. But here's just a general overview. So when you look at the fellowship applications and stuff, you'll see like, oh, it looks like you have this whole big form that you have to like fill out like in a Word doc or whatever, but you can actually do it through this tool and it'll import, you can import like presentations and publications directly from my bibliography. So use my bibliography, you can use that to make like a list of your publications as well as presentations. So you can put like your poster presentations, your oral presentations and that sort of thing. And then you'll be able to list selected ones on your, um, on the bio um, sketch that you create. In the bio sketch itself, you're limited to how many citations you can put, um, but you can include a link to your My Bibliography in um, the, your My NCBI account. And this way people can see all of that stuff that you did as opposed to just what you were able to fit on the page. Um, and so, yeah, so it has to be like an official government site or whatever that you're linking to. And so this, you can't just link it to your Google Scholar or whatever, but you can link it to your My Bibliography. So you can have, link it to your public My Bibliography and then they'll see all of the cool stuff that you did. What's really cool too is that, so the bio sketches, you want them to be like tailored for the individual thing that you're applying for. So you're talking about like what experience you have in the past and so that's where all those citations are going to come in helpful. Um, as well as like your education and all this stuff that makes you qualify for this research as well as like 
talking about the research environment and like your collaborate basically how you're in the perfect place to do this research um, and when it's for a fellowship one also how this um, this training is going to help develop your career so it has like a personal state it has your education personal statement um, like and then you highlight different research things that you've done in the past um, and then like for a fellowship you have like your grades um, so for for like a postdoc, you just have to put your uh, um, your like grad school grades, and then but for um, like the pre-doctoral ones, so if you're applying for a fellowship when you're like an undergrad, then you put like your um, undergrad grades. But this is at least for the NIH one. Um, the NSF has a different format and everything, so make sure you fo you follow all the formatting stuff. Um, but the good thing about this bio and um, science and V or whatever is that it science CV is that um, it formats things for you so you don't have to worry about making sure that you're like following all the formatting things because I'm like really afraid of like if you fo don't follow like a formatting thing your whole thing's just going to be tossed out after months of work which would really 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 not be good. So you can use so it'll like integrate with my bibliography and my bibliography also too like you can search PubMed so if you have something in PubMed it can link to that. You can also link up your account to like if you have an ORCID ID or ORC ID or whatever um, like your like identifier whatever so that if you publish papers if people have the same name then it'll be like linked to that person rather than like oh you confuse them because they have the same name so this id thing is really cool um you can also link it to like era commons whatever um it's this yeah basically government stuff but this is all for the grant stuff even if you are not using it for a grant you can still use it to make like format a cv type of thing um but you'll want to format things differently but you can use that my bibliography part um, you can also make a public bibliography, um, so basically if you want people to be able to see what presentations you've given, what publications you have, you can make that public. You can also set like a public profile. The great thing is that you can make anything public, you can make anything private, and I think. Um, and you can make different versions of like your science CV and your bibliographies and stuff. And export them to all of this cool things but this way if you're working on a grant and you don't want it's not I mean it's like something that's in progress or you don't want people knowing exactly what you're working on at this point because you're still working on it um, then you can just make that private and then if there's something that you want public um, so maybe you just want to have like a main CV that people can see then you can um, have that public um, as well as anything for like publications and all of that um, speaking of the publications this is, I've learned that there's this thing called like P Peace, PMIDC or whatever. Um, so basically PubMed, they have these like identifier codes um, and now there's like a recent update or whatever that if you're using, if you're doing research that was funded by like the NI, a national or fe, a US federal grant, then you have to make it open access. Um, and so you have to like go through this like thing to show that you're compliant and so there'll be a weird little check or not check or whatever um just a note um that it might confuse you but that that's all what it's about um, it's a really good idea to keep a cv as well as to keep um one of these my bibliographies and keep it updated like anytime anything happens if you do a presentation you have a publication update that my bibliography um stick it on your cv as well as any awards and that sort of thing that you get um do it as you go um so that you don't then end up having to input everything piece by piece and trying to track down dates that you did things so a great thing about this like my bibliography tool is that you can add things as you go um, and then they'll always be in there um, so the first time you set it up it's kind of a pain because I'm having to like manually input all of these presentations because although it can search and find like publications that are on like PubMed and that sort of thing if you have like a presentation that you're gonna have to like add that manually um, and so but once it's manually in there then you can reuse it over and over and over again um, and so yeah so it's really good practice to start early um, make your CV before you like have any sort of weird like presentations or anything you have to input but anytime it before you um just as you start out um and then uh, that's a big thing about like being a scientist is or like trying to be a scientist or whatever you want to call it I don't know we're scientists is that you want to work as you go and keep building on what you've done um and just adding to it and then not having to like freak out at the end when there's a deadline and you're trying to code everything together. So this, um, this is the case for 
like taking good notes along the way, working on drafts of progress reports and that sort of thing, just adding as you go, uh, making, uh, like writing up results, exper experimental results and that sort of thing for your notes, um, things like that, as well as your CV, keeping it up to date um, and all of that good stuff. Um, so it'll really help you later on. Um, so I'm really grateful to my past self for having um, been good about this. Okay, and I'm really happy for my present self for having discovered my NCBI and happy for my NCBI for existing. So thank you.